Hello and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. As always, I have no idea what we did the last... Well, I do have some idea. We went in there, killed a bunch of people, aggravated the police over there, and in the end did everything we were supposed to do, I guess. And I think this, this episode is time for the main story to get back on track with that. So, give me danger, meet Takemura. Well, there's a fast travel point, so we'll make use of that. It's not often that we start our journey near one, so while we're here, gonna make use of it. Uh, I think this is a decent fast travel point to get close enough. Oh, huh, it's an interesting tool tip. Probably helps for um for the fist fights. I don't give a fuck that it's not in production yet. It has to be that one. Get me? New uh, bike. Not interested. Oh, where? Oh, wait. Oh, it's up there. That's why I couldn't see it. 200 meters. Uh, I should probably just walk. Um, game. I mean, I'd love to go through here, but it doesn't look like it's possible. So let's just go around here and hope that we get there either way. And also hope that no car runs us over. That would be helpful. All the way up there. Uh, where do we find... There's the stairs. Probably. Oh, is that an elevator? Yeah, okay. Where is the... Thank you for tuning in to the N54 local news. Have I want to hear the koala story. Alright. Sort of feels like a bit of a waste of money to put screens on every side of the elevator and all, have all of them show the same thing. Hello, Cook. That's a very imaginative name you have. Um, Tagamore is over there. I do not understand. Does Arasaka not have enough of its own people? Look around, sir. Things are heating up in the city. Zoot snow, one sparks, all it takes for Japan town to go up in flames. Riots are always best put down by folks not sporting your brand name. Ah, you are here. I am indeed here. Why? What are we doing here? You shall learn soon. Okay. I acquired some information of my own. Do you know who most wish to honor Arasaka-sama with the parade? His murderer. The irony makes me sick. I mean, that's reasonable. It makes sense. Obviously, if you want to not get suspicious in any way, you obviously have to honor your father with a parade. Be? Your nobu's a smart little muffin. Putting on the parade to show off his attachment to Arasaka yeah. and its values. And to solidify his legitimacy. He is shrewd. I will not deny that. Japanese heritage is one element. Yorinobu will also put on a display of power. The floats are sure to be beautiful, but the wise and I will see in them a hidden message to his foes. What message would that be? I am here, Gumin Domo. Watch your backs. Not one for subtlety, is he? Still don't see how this gets us anywhere. I have had an idea. Look to the sky. Yeah. What am I seeing? The dash floats will pass precisely this way. Mm -hmm. If I could just get onto Hanako-sama's float, I could speak with her in private. Get there how? Why jump? Of course. Expectations way too high, Goro. Couldn't pull that off even if you still had your fancy implants. I have thought of a solution. While you are occupied with your shady dealings, I learned more about the floats. Hey, they're not they are all kept shady. in one place. Arasaka Industrial Park. It is there that they prepare them. We need only to break into the compound, find the right float and inject a virus into its system. You will then be able to disable any security before I sneak inside. 
Sounds easy enough. Lots of ways to skin this particular cat, you know. Gonna need. I know what you need. It is taken care of. I have an infected shot. It was not cheap, but the man who sold it to me guaranteed it will work. Where'd you get this short? Across the canal. Kabuki? <laughs> Might actually be half decent soft then. And if it isn't, got a few tricks up my sleeve too. This is good to know. Let us move on. Okay. Where are we moving to? To take control of the float is one thing, but not all. The security concerns me, the snipers especially. I will be an easy target. But I may have an answer. Okada-san mentioned the city cameras. If we gain access to them, we will see exactly where the snipers are. You can deal with them as I advance. Uh, that you maybe not want to stand in front of that. So I just <laughs> my new monitor always gives me a message after like a couple of hours and tells me it's gonna turn off in 60 seconds if I don't press a button that's located on the back of it, which is very, mm, very convenient for me to get to. Sounds like a plan. You agree just like that? The risks are considerable. Eh. Well, getting more and more used to that. And now, what would you say to a small test? We must try the shot. The camera control room is in front of us. Looks like an elevator. You me. must get inside and infect the network. That is all. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you'll do what? Crack open a can of suds? I will not touch alcohol at work. I will watch your back. Now, get to it. Okay. Yeah, it's over there. <laughs> All right. Cool it now. Come on. Who's that? So nice. All right. Infect the security system. There's a door here. That is, of course, locked. Because why wouldn't it be? Uh, okay, there's genuinely no one here. I mean, I guess. Sure. The Watson Whore Diary. Monday. What a fucking world. Finally, I get my ass on Siggy's show, and right before I walk on stage, a fucking hospital somewhere gets shot up. This stick cancels the show last minute for a special app about the fucking victims. Who the fuck cares? Is anyone gonna remember them in a week? Did they spend half their fucking career to get on that show? No, they just fucking died. I got my ass on stage anyway. Let him know you don't cockblock a goddamn TV messiah, but security fucked me up so bad. Oh, scrolled, got corrupted or some shit. Tuesday. Felt fed up today. Made a move on town hall to protest the fucking disgraceful neglect of war wets. Got my hands on a dress made of sin fetuses. Fetuses? Chanted my fucking throat raw half the way down there until the director of Wet Dream recognized me and said I was looking sexy. So I leaned up against his schism and fake choked on an air dick and slapped my ass because I, I could tell he loves pretty boys. He took my back to his place, chained me to his king bed and fucked me raw till I snapped each and every bed post. He showered me in eddies and already got plans to see him same, same time next. Maybe I can screw my way into his next BD. Um... <laughs> You know what? I'll screw. I'll, I'll scroll through the rest of this. I'm not sure if that is appropriate material. Um, all right, you can read it if you want to. I won't. Um, where am I? Oh, here. Fucking worked. Okay. <laughs> so, really tough job you had there, didn't you? Done. System's ours. The shot works. Good. The easy work we have done. To break into Arasaka Industrial Park will not be such a bed of roses. But before we discuss that... 
Yes. Oh, we discussed that we must walk over here. Sit. I have not eaten since yesterday. Give me the best on the menu. I highly recommend the uh, yakitori today. Mm. Anything that isn't local, please. But I want yakitori. See you tomorrow. I can't believe I'm saying this, but this Sokka scum might actually prove useful. He's a well-trained dog, needs orders, that's all. And when he outlives his purpose, we'll flatline him. Hmm. He's not on his A-game, sure. But even without implants, he could decommission us easily. Where's that come from? Ever seen him in action? No, just no. From the way he walks, look in his eye. We'll come back to this later. Can I eat now, Johnny? You done? What is this? <laughs> hey, Yakitori. Okay, I have laid the plan. One, we break into Arasaka Industrial Park. One and a half. We have Hanako-sama's float. Two, during the parade, with my help, you eliminate any snipers. Three, I get onto the float. Four, I convince Hanako-sama of the truth. Four sounds really... Mm, not very, very secure. We're finishing our food here. <laughs> More, please. We got five. Oda zeroes us and pisses on our corpses. We will never be less than a foot away from Hanako. Oda would not dare raise his hand against me. What about me? That is a different matter. I would advise you to watch your distance. Well, sounds like a suicide run, but done dumber shit than this, so... Things are even more stupid than stealing from Arasaka. Yeah. None dumber yet, no. Set the bar pretty high with that one. Now, we part. Reconnaissance is required. What do you do? Got enough on my plate as it is. I'll let you handle that. So I shall. Cook! Louder! Louder! I have decided to tell the of our In the flesh. Night City security forces. President Myers has he eliminated the vast obstacle the between force. himself From and the complete power. The they surrendered it to him. Tell me that. What do we call the murder of my father? Was that not a provocation? Was that a not a... <laughs> Arasaka. An empire built to last. Before you're in set fire to it from the inside. All of this began with him. The factions. Power struggles. All of this. Ksa. Old man's death must have really fed the flames between the different factions. That is exactly what happened. And what's the balance of power look like now? Kiji longs for stability. The old order. They are united behind Hanako-sama. The liberal wing, Hato. Support Michiko-sama. Saburo's granddaughter. I know little about her. And then there is Taka. Treacherous dogs who support Yorinobu. Not to mention even smaller factions. We Tell me about them some other time. Where's Yorinobu's rebellious streak come from? No one knows this. Perhaps soon I shall ask him in person. Why'd Saburo tolerate it all? Can't get my head around it. Could've kept his son on a short leash. Arasaka-sama was a strong and disciplined man. The strongest man I have ever known. And yet, 
At a critical moment, he showed a weakness. For Yorinobu? For his daughter. When Yorinobu formed his band of hounds, declared war on his own family, Arasaka-sama could have crushed him with one word. Yet he did not. For he did not wish his daughter to suffer. When Yorinobu returned, his tail between his legs, she persuaded her father to give him a second chance. Do you understand? Hanako-sama saved Yorinobu from the consequences of his deeds. I'm not hearing more reasons for her to believe us here. Wait, you think she's complicit in Saburo's murder? I think we are all to blame. We allowed ourselves to be tricked. But we will correct this soon. Time for some reconnaissance. Wait for my call. I will. Probably means we'll have to... I mean, we can't wait for a day, I guess. Let's... Oops. Roll menu. Sure, let's do that. I'm correcting my reconnaissance. Um... I think I pressed the wrong button. Sergei Karasinski. I give a simple task. Was it really so fucking hard? All you had to do was deliver a car to Tiger Close. Nothing else. Who do you take me for, hmm? Do you think I can't guess how that idiot got out of the trunk? Fuck, this was my last chance. My life in this city is over forever. May you rot in hell, fucking bastard. Uh-huh. Okay. It's fine. Um... Where is... Wait. Uh, wait today for Takemura to finish his reconnaissance. Okay. Judy. Hey V. Michael called. Mm. Before sundown. Out front of the Mega Tower. Gonna be there? Of course I will. See you then. Okay. Um, that wasn't who I expected to call me. But, okay, you know what, we'll wait one more day. Takemura calls. Um, oh shit, not good. Still not calling. Calm down, V. Everything's fine. Maybe. All right. Um. Says it's open. I guess Takamura doesn't want to, so we'll do Judy's side job. In the meantime, how far is that away? Three hundred meters. I mean, that's close enough. Um. By the way, is this just something that? I'm not used to. Like usually in Austria, the the thing where you press the buttons on the elevators is on the side, not next to the door. So I always when I when I walk into the elevator, I always look left or right and not behind me. Oh. <laughs> Just walk over the police car. Out of my way. <laughs> Hopefully, I won't die by jumping over cars. Never know what happens in this game. Uh, oh, there he is. My reconnaissance is complete. It worked. You can hear it in your voice. Everything is ready. I am sending you. <laughs> Join me Excuse as quickly me. as you can. Uh, how f uh, two kilometers? All right, Judy will do your your job first. It's 100 meters over there. Down, please, no cars. Okay, good. Mega building H8. What is this here? Um. Oh, 
I need to be careful not to shoot any innocent people here. They look relatively weak either way. Uh, yeah, he's a police officer. Overture, grenade, archive patrol. Just take all of this stuff. NCPD dispatch. Calling all units in Westbrook. I repeat, calling all units in Westbrook. Sergeant Max Smith. 2891 reporting. 1020 Westbrook. Head to Redwood Street in Japantown. Order to increase our presence in the area. Coming from the chief. Japantown? Alone? Requesting additional units for backup. Request denied. This is some pre-election stunt? That's Tiger Turf. Are you refusing to comply? 2891. Come in and respond. Negative. Order accepted. We'll comply. Fucking chief. 2891. Say again. Fuck. Nothing. Nothing. Copy that. Hmm. Well, that sounds completely unreasonable. Who are you? Max Tack Raider, NCPD. Alright. You get to live. Uh, no, put it away. Uh, oops. Hmm. I don't know what they're all doing. Wait, what's that? Do you have like a... Scared of getting dumped. Okay, no. And so he always does it first. <laughs> and I'm always the one trying to save the relationship. Ugh, I feel like such a gonk. He's the gonk here, Theo. Not you. You have so much love and empathy to give to people like him. But at what cost? I gotta go now. But thanks for listening to all my bitching. I bet you even Donald Lundy sometimes goes through a whole tub of ice cream and three packets of tissues. <sighs> Brandon, you are the sweetest person I know. I'll see you later. <laughs> Who's that girl you were talking to? Oh, you mean Theo? She's my bestest friend. Gosh, <laughs> she's so nice and pretty and sensitive. I like talking to her. Definitely way more fun than pumping out caramel lattes. Why do I get the feeling that judging people on how they look and feel is ever so slightly beyond you? Hogwash. If I couldn't analyze people, how would I know whether to recommend a daring dairy instead of a Tiancha? You said you liked some people more than others. Earlier you thought of a joke. You're sentient. You've got to be. <laughs> oh, stop it. You're making me blush. Which would mean I'm overheating and my circuits are frying. Not fun at all. <laughs> That's what I thought. Take care, Brendan. <laughs> Alright. Let's wait at the railing for Judy. Okay, sometime later, meet with Judy and the dolls. Why couldn't we just hey, v. wait here in the first place? You ready? I guess. So glad you came. Molded over in my head, y'all were right. Sometimes the only rational course of action is a kick in the nuts and a bullet between the eyes. You nervous, Tom? How'd you know? First time you've done anything like this. Just imagine you're doing what a doll does, just different program. You're great at that. Any idea how I can get to Hiromi? Pulled the blueprint, got it all figured out. Okay, not all, but we're good on the penthouse. Best bets to access it from the service level. Got a way in from there. And Maiko? Where's she? Meeting with Hiromi to avoid raising any suspicions. She'll make him stay put until we're in. Hmm. Remember, let the behavioral chip do what it wants. You got no time to deliberate. 
weigh decisions. Just follow your instincts. Freeze, tense up for even a second. Could cost you your life. You got it? All right. We going in? Let's do this. Okay. Up the elevator. I see. Everyone in their own corner? Sure. Um. Okay. You want me to press the button, I see. You two head in right after us. Go straight to clouds. About fucking time. Stay sharp. Gangoons might be lurking. Um, Judy, why are you calling me? Ah, okay. Got a jack into the panel on the other side. Can you take him out? Yes. Well, no problem whatsoever. Let me quickly get it got quite a bit of health. Also, feels like I'm moving relatively slowly, which is annoying. Oh, blasted his arm off. Oh, now I'm actually moving slowly. Fair enough. Uh, just give me... Yeah, let's just disassemble a bunch of guns. Almost all of them, in fact. At least everything that's green. Then we'll have a look. Crusher, that looks interesting at least. We can get rid of those. Pulsar, there's a thousand of those everywhere in the game. Lexington. Uh, how much do we have? Uh, this is epic. Yeah, we'll get rid of that as well. And everything below here is epic though. So I'd rather not eliminate it. Slash disassemble it. Get rid of all of these. Uh, and that should do right. I mean, you can get some of these and disassemble them. Not that they're all that heavy. Yes, we can take that as well. Sure, that'll do. Uh, talk to Judy. Before that, though, there's a couple of stuff. Bit of stuff here, bit of stuff here. Here and what then? Everyone all in position? There it was. Tom and Roxy should already be at clouds. That's we what go on micro signal. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. In a second. Um BD E9 BD 55 BD. They'll mop up security. First, you gotta get into the penthouse. Okay, on my way. Elevators on the other side. Be safe. Yep, no problem. Let me just queue up quickly. Off we go. How's the stitch? We're inside of clouds. Who's taking which floor? I'll take the lower level. Tom will head upstairs. We're all set. Mm -hmm. Nice view from here. Yep. Nice view is gone. Okay, I can't save right now. I guess it makes sense you wouldn't necessarily want your players to save in a moving elevator. Jump down onto the balcony. Careful though, okay? That sounds like something that would um would just lead to bugs. Let me explore a bit here. Okay, this is locked. 
have a feeling I just want to jump down there anyway. Wait. Okay. That worked. This is locked. Um... I'm getting slightly dizzy from the height. <laughs> okay, it doesn't look like yeah. there's any way over here. How about this? Also locked. Yeah. Not a camera. Also not cameras. Also locked. This sort of just looks like a window, but it's apparently not. Hmm. Okay, that's over there. Alright. How about this door? Nope. Maybe we'll just have to get uh, have to get to the exclamation mark. Not entirely unlikely. I will check out whether any of these doors is open anyway. Can I save here? Yeah, okay. Just in case I fall down. Um well, that sucks. Alright, maybe we can get up there and go over there. Um, can you just let me climb this ladder, please? Because otherwise we'd have to walk around the whole, uh, the whole terrace again, and I don't want to do that. I'm not here. So yeah, the d oh, wait. Down here then? Yeah. On my mark. Oh, shit, tons of go. No, don't wait up. I don't want any fucking dinner. Everything you cook. Who was that anyway? Okay, just a tiger claw. Take it out the trash. Um, I thought there might be something that, um, you know, like a fence, maybe, no, no safety regulations on this house, alright, good that I saved, I guess, get me up here. Come on, get me through the, through there. Are there really no fences here? No, there are. On my mark, go. No, don't wait up. I don't want any fucking dinner. Everything you cook tastes like sawdust anyway. Love you too. Well, that was bad timing. I've ever seen it. Uh. All right, you stay over there. Why do you have so much health? Why is it not getting lower? that and then please get me inside away from this uh, away from this massive drop what he was gonna burn to death Give me all of 
Uh, he's still fighting. Oh, now he's gone. Let's take everything. Back here. Okay, I need authorization, which I do not have, of course. There's a laptop here. Can't do anything with it there. For some reason, it's pretty laggy today. I'll definitely stop at recording only one part and I'll see if I can get it to work better next Same time. Here. Go to the surveillance cam in front of the security room. I was hoping you'd make less trouble getting here. Luckily, they're all jacked into virtues. It'd be game over otherwise. Right, wrong. Chicks will give you shit no matter what you do. This one's a real charmer, too. Mm. Can we get this over with? Why are there three guys? What's she playing at? That's our target, Hiromi Sato. What are they watching? Demo reel of Cloud's next top doll. Specially selected by yours truly. The lucky girl's gonna replace Evelyn. Hope she proves smarter. Who are the other two? Target audience of today's presentation. Hiromi answers to them directly. Now they're gonna watch him die in a pool of his own piss. This is not what we agreed. Look at me. See this? This look, is a really? look of unfucking surprise on I my face. I know the claws. To them, power is a question of strength. Ruthlessness. This is the only way. Maiko! I'm about to jack him out. They will not be chirpy after the rude awakening. One show ends, another begins. Just as good and unforgettable. Understand? All right, I'll do what I can. Jack him out. Well, she is no Barker. Wait. What's going on? Who is this? Living proof that Hiromi Sato's time is up. This merc has already disturbed the clientele at Clouds once. He murdered Oswald Forrest. True. And now he's invaded Mr. Sato's private residence. With your help. As if that were not enough, this is where Hiromi's sheer incompetence has led all of us to. What? What the hell? I have long looked upon Hiromi Sato's foolish, inept endeavors. But this? I think it's obvious he has outlived his usefulness. V, what the fuck's she doing? Clouds need new management. Am I to understand that this future mm -hmm. manager Julia, stands before me now, focus. speaking with such What's there zeal? What's focus on? She's screwing us. With your permission. Over my dead body. We were gonna Stop get rid me. of him. Am I to understand these as your conditions? Hmm. V, you gotta take him down. That's why we're here. Okay, sure. Bored of all this chatter. I'd rather we just cut to the quick. No, you fuck! Okay. Oh, fuck! Let me just quickly do my shot. This is a bit chaotic. Where's Hiromi gone? Oh, dead. Fiend, what the hell were you thinking? Have you any idea what's gonna happen now? Nope. Matter of fact, I do. Either you walk away and never come back to clouds, or I end you here and now. I see you got everything planned out, but you forgot just one thing. I've also got a doll chip. <laughs> Mm. You don't really look like you're very experienced in combat now, do you? Oh. Oh. 
you started it. All right, V, get out of there. Exit's on the lower level of the apartment. Then find the elevator. I will do, don't worry. But first, uh, well, I'll take his uh, authorization probably. I don't get his authorization. Okay. Okay, this door is just not traversable. What is this? A shotgun? Whatever it is, I can't pick it up. Ashtray. Okay. Also, not the door that I can go through. Tom and Roxy are outside and safe. They Good. weren't followed. Where's this door? Okay, probably all of them are locked. Get down to street level. Waiting by the food stalls. Okay. You... You killed her? Oh my fucking god. You killed her. Given what I saw, I knew she'd be a bigger jackbooted tyrant than Hiromi. And that was reason enough to take her life? I mean, she was trying to take mine first. Wouldn't have happened if she hadn't come at me. It wasn't my fault. <sighs> Sorry, but I don't buy that. Could have found another way. Michael knew what she was starting, what she was doing. She knew it could all come crashing down. I thought she was untouchable all her life. Well, it's not my fault she was wrong. <laughs> I, uh... I gotta process all this in peace. Alone. Be seeing you, V. See you, Judy. Kind of like that sense. It's not my fault that you're wrong. Alright, I don't think we'll go to Takimura in this episode. We'll go there. You know what? Uh, let me look at the map. Where is it? It's all the way over there. What we'll do is I'll set some marks. Let's go pick up that tarot card. For example. And then we'll drive to... We'll drive to Takimura. But we will only uh, start the quest in the next episode. Actually, I've got a new car now. Why am I not calling that? Uh, is that the car? Or is that... No, that's Delamain. It's over there. 70 meters away. Stuck in traffic, as always. Yeah, yeah, stop your honking. I'm going. Well, my bad. I like how the NPC NCPD officers that were just standing right there totally ignored me. Oops. That's a very solid car. That doesn't look like we can go through there. 500 meters further to the south, I guess. Uh, yep, yep. As soon as I saw it, I was like, yeah, we need to get over there. We don't have enough space to get over there. That was a cool drift. Of course. Fuck. Yeah, living in Night City is really unsafe, as it turns out. How? Car is hurting me. Where? Oh, it's upstairs. Well, 
guess that's where we're going then. Even further and further and further and fur wait, not further. Here. Hmm. Is there anything else in this massive building here? Maybe. Let me go up to the roof. No, I'm already here. It's quite dark, that's for sure. Okay, there is literally nothing here. Alright, down we go then. Is there anything in here? Quick look. Other than a TV? There's nothing in here. And there's a gate or a fence here. Alright, screw this. Nothing here. Probably nothing here. Oh, it's the exit. Never mind. This, this, no. This is where it was. You know, sure, we'll do that quickly. Calling all NCPD subcons. Suspected organized crime activity reported on Martin Luther King Boulevard. Members of the Valentinos engaged in smuggling and trafficking operations. Group is led by Miguel Rodriguez, a.k.a. Gizmo. Priors include second-degree murder and drug trafficking. Cities put out a reward for neutralizing the threat. That's fine and all, but I need more pistol ammo. <laughs> uh, that's it. Can't do much with 12 shots. I've used a lot killing Maiko and the Tiger Claw bosses. Alright, that should do, right? Yeah. You know what? We'll just start out normal. What am I doing? I'm not doing anything illegal. Most of the time. Oh no, 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 fuck! Lagging from, too much for me to sh Oh, that's a huge joke. You know what? Why am I stuck here? Alright, I'm not helping you out then. Whatever. Go fix your own shit. Oops. Well, evaded him. car is very very solid just ramming everything out of the way all right there's about to be a turn coming up isn't there here he just had the scare of his life We're almost there. So, that's where we'll end it today. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.